go to Mars, they said. The pay is great, they said. So it's the crippling depression. taking Hank so long. I hope I didn't make a mistake by letting Hank go. I saw. <laughs> Good work. See? I knew having someone on the inside like that would work out. I've already put it in order for the equipment. I was going to ask you to pick it up for me, but there's a problem. One of my guys, Hank Ferraro, offered to go. I tried to tell him he'd be more useful sticking to his job here, but he insisted and he was already on his way out before I could stop him. But it shouldn't be taking this long. Just a quick trip to Gagarin and back. I'm concerned. I could use some help with this. Hank's been a difficult employee, to be honest. More interested in showing off than doing good work. He's aggressive. He starts shit with the other employees. He's often late for work and so on. So this came up and I figured, maybe he's trying to turn things around. Even though I was reluctant, I wanted to give him a chance. Now I'm questioning if it was a good idea. I don't know. Maybe he got hit by pirates. Maybe he's out of fuel, drifting. Maybe he just stopped for chunks. Anyway, something's up and it doesn't seem good. Since you've proven yourself so skilled in so many ways, I was hoping to call on you for it. So, you in? Oh, thanks. This is a huge help. You'll be happy to know I actually carved out some of the budget so I can pay you for all of your assistance. We don't currently have much information to go on. I'd suggest checking with Sidonia ship services over at the starport first. They'd be the last person I know that's seen Hank. It's all I've got without sending you all the way to Gagarin to retrace his steps. Good luck. Graffiti and other street art is not tolerated for Sidonia City Ordinance 5.82. Failure to comply with the ordinance will result in fines not exceeding 5,000 credits for 100 hours of community service.
should inspect your ship for heat leeches every couple landings. They'll cause plenty of havoc if left unchecked. Need some work done? Nothing for us to do. You're in good flying condition. Okay, no problem. Hmm, let's see here. Hank, Hank, known by that name. Oh, wait, here we go. Henry Farrell. Hank's gotta be his nickname. <laughs> yeah, he's been through here. Took a ship and departed. Actually, it looks like he came back into Mars space recently, but he didn't land here at the spaceport. The ship diverted and landed outside a city of ways. Nothing out of the ordinary. Got a ship and left. Tried and failed to get a discount on fueling up. That's about it. I've been doing this job for years, and I can't think of many reasons someone would come in for landing, but divert somewhere else. I've seen people try to offload some sort of contraband that way, but usually they don't do a flyby of the port before doing so, and scans would have picked it up, so I don't know. You're gonna have to ask me yourself, if you manage to track him down, that is. Yeah, something seems off about this. You're probably right that you need to work this out with your boss. Maybe some wires got crossed. Anyway, good luck and good day to you. I wonder what's taking Hank so long. I hope I didn't make a mistake by letting Hank go. That's a little suspicious. Why would he do that? Moreover, why wouldn't he return with the goods? Something's definitely up. I asked around while you were gone. Some of his co-workers mentioned he's been a little extra, well, Hank lately. In particular, he was cursing up a storm about work and about his co-workers. Said some things that make me think his intentions here were not pure. Anyway, he's not too bright. Maybe he's still here in Sidonia. Check the broken spear. He frequently goes there to drink. We need to get to the bottom of this. Well, see if you can get him to admit it first. And if he does, see if you can get it back from him. If he resists, or otherwise won't tell you what we need to know, then we may have to turn him in. I trust that Sidonia security will bust him good, but he may not tell him where our stuff is. So see if you can at least get that out of him first. Ugh, I don't know. Hank's kind of a weird guy. He never fit in with the team tended to act a little sketchy. Always figured he'd be done after one contract. Guy like Hank? Maybe he's just looking to sell it on the black market and earn an extra paycheck. Can't say for sure. Remember, it's most important that we find out where the equipment is. We can always deal with Hank later. We've got to do it before we lose track of it, before it gets sold, moved, or worse. And we've got to hope to whatever higher power you believe in that it wasn't jettisoned into space. We've got our work cut out for us. Good luck. So we struck oil. Uranium particle. Uh, it turns out it was just another deep one. Be advised to secure with the article wild. and find stable ground or remain seated in the event of unforeseen tremors. Detonation occurred in five, four, Three, two, one. Am I glad I got this job instead of mining some dead rock out in the middle of nowhere?
What a long day. You wouldn't last a week in the mine. What, standing around, pointing a cutter at some rocks all day? It sucks, but it's easy, so whatever. Oh, way better than my last job at Chunks, though. My story? My story is that I don't like people asking what my story is. <laughs> I'm just messing! But really, I don't want to talk about myself. Questions, huh? Let me buy you a beer first. Here you go. Uh, anyway, I seen you talking to Trevor. What's someone like you doing sticking your nose where it doesn't belong? You're right. I didn't want to bring it back, so I took it. I had to. Those guys all think I'm some kind of joke. And I'm stuck with this stupid three-year contract. I can't afford to break it. So screw Deimos. Screw Trevor and all the other miners. Losing that equipment's the last draw for them. Did he tell you that? One last failure in a string of failures to meet quotas. It'll be layoffs for everyone, and I won't owe Deimos a damn credit. It's my plan, and I'm already doing it. Shit. You're right. Fine. You got me. You say I take you to the goods and we bring it back. You can even say you found it. Just don't turn me in, all right? Hot shot. I ain't gonna shoot you in the back if that's what you're worried about. Just uh, follow me. We're going outside. Howdy. Oh. Hey there. Sometimes I wish I'd taken an easier.
Man, I'm impressed you figured it all out on your own. I thought I was being real careful. It was so easy, right? Boss man Trevor's so loud sometimes, you know? And I got good hearing, so I overheard you all talking about this equipment. I knew what it meant to everyone and how screwed they'd all be without it. And then Trevor just lets me go pick it up because he thought I was showing initiative. <laughs> it, it, it really was uh, the perfect plan. My story? My story is that I don't like people asking what my story is. <laughs> I'm just messing! But really, I, I don't want to talk about myself. Smell you later. That's enough. Now face me, so I don't have to shoot you in the back. You didn't think I'd just reveal my plan and then let you walk away while knowing everything, did you? Damn, you're dumber than I thought. You didn't think I'd just reveal and then let you walk away while knowing everything, did you? Damn, you're dumber than I thought. No, we got a problem we can't resolve. Namely, you know too much. I know. I'm sorry. I didn't want it to be this way. 
I just... I felt like I got no other choice. You know? Damn it. You're right. What the hell am I doing? This is freaking stupid, even for me. This whole idea... I, I barely thought it through. I, I just acted because it seemed like my only shot. I really don't want to hurt anyone. I'm in too deep and I don't know what to do. I know I don't deserve it. But will you help me? Please? What? Just because I'm a miner, I can't have nice things? It was my old man's. He gave it to me when he got his new one. It's older and it's got some issues, but I've been trying to fix it up in my spare time. This was my first big test run of it. I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't if I were in your shoes. I can start by giving you my gun to prove I won't try to kill you. That's about all I can really do. For real, you made me see what I'm doing is wrong. Like how you think you'd really do that for me i mean as long as they get the equipment back no harm no fell right and if they think i got it back for them then maybe i'll finally get the respect i deserve yeah 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 i'm down for this Let, let's do it hearing all about this. Oh, do tell. What took him so long? Wow, is that true, Hank? Sounds like you really gave it to him, eh? Well, good on you then. Oh yeah. Well, I really just wanted to prove myself, you know? Take initiative and stuff. So, I went early to go pick it up. But when I returned to Mars, I noticed that pirates were following me. I diverted from the spaceport and led them into the desert, where I fought them off and drove them away. Oh, it was wild! Turns out I had you all wrong, Hank. You'll have to tell me all about it later. Let's allow our friend here to get going, though. I'll take it from here and get the equipment sorted out. Here's the credits I promised. I'm also throwing in some ore to repay you for what you got us before, and then some. We'll be able to recoup it in no time with these new tools. Thanks for all your help. We couldn't have done it without you. Someone ought to tell Rivka her coffee fits are getting real old. Sober Sidonia is a safe Sidonia. While indulging in alcoholic beverages is not discouraged, Operating heavy machinery while under the influence is dangerous to yourself and those around Mining's fair work, but you can't take Please it all so seriously, I always tell my mates. We're pulling rocks out of the ground, not building spaceships. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy. Look in the mirror if he is no friend of me. It's not working now, maybe it's the chemistry. 